There are times that you want to have different page numbers for different sections of your Word document. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video, so keep watching. Hi, I'm Aonio Obed and you're welcome to our channel. If this happens to be your first time here or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe for more tutorials like this. And also to be notified anytime that we release a new video, hit the bell icon so that every time you will be alerted when we release a new video. As I said earlier on, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to generate different page numbers for different sessions of your Word document. So let's get into the PC and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Alright, so in this tutorial, as I said, we are going to learn how to generate different page numbers. So this is the sample Word documents that we are going to use. I've already created a Word document that we are going to use. And this trick is going to be very helpful for those who are writing their own books or those who are writing theses for publication or even school projects. So what is going to happen is, if you check this document for instance, when you come to the table of contents, I have the main title of the document being page 1, followed by preface which is page 2, acknowledgement. So usually most of these things which are not part of the main work, you want them to have a separate numbering from the main content. So chapter 1, which is supposed to be the beginning of the work itself, has here uh, page 5 which is not appropriate you want to have chapter 1 being page 1 so preferably you want to have all the other pages the abstract page the table of contents page the acknowledgement page all those other pages before the main work to have some kind of page number like roman numerals so that is what we want to achieve in this tutorial to be able to convert all these other pages apart from the main one to have Roman numerals. So let me show you the final output that we are looking for. So after everything, we want to have something like this where the test document, the preface, acknowledgement, table of points, they have page numbers of Roman numerals. So when you go up, you can see that the acknowledgement is III. Then when you come to the chapter 1, chapter 1 starts from page 1. So this is what we want to achieve with this other document. So let's look at how to do this. The trick is that we have to create what is called a break in the session. So we are going to generate them. We are going to put these files into two different sessions, where the first session will be the one with the Roman numerals, and the second session will be the one with the normal numbers. So to create the sessions, we have to go to the last page of the first one, which happens to be our table of contents over here then go to layouts so page layout and right below layout we have breaks so click the breaks then select next page so this has actually created a page break this has created a page break for us sorry this has created a page break for us so now we can effect any changes that we want within the document so let's go to this page that's the second session then we insert go to insert page numbering so choose the type that you want so in this particular document i've already selected one type so let's say we want this type all right then we need to format this we need to format this so go back to insert page numbers then go to format page numbers so from here we want to start this so now what has been checked is continue from previous session since we've created two different sessions if you choose continue from previous session it will give you the a continuation from the previous session but we need to start this as a different session on its own starting from page one so once you choose page one then this session will begin from page one so as you can see the main content is now starting from page one but let's go back to the previous one 
So the previous one is also in numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you want, this could actually be what you are looking for without using the Roman numerals. We still have different sets of uh, page numbering. So just to effect these changes in your table of contents, you come here and click on update table of contents, then update entire table. So I already generated a table of contents in this document, but if you don't know how to do it, I have a video to how to generate table of contents in any Word document. Check the description below for a link to that video and learn how to do it. So now as I have updated, you can see that I have page 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the next section is page 1, 2, 3. But this may not look pleasant, so we want to convert those ones to Roman numerals. How do we do that? Just go back to click within the section that you want to convert to Roman numbers. Then go back to page numbers. That's insert page numbers. Then format page numbers. So format page numbers. You see normal format. The number format is what you are going to change to. Whether you want A, B, C, D or as in the alphabet, capital lies or small letters alphabet or the roman numbers so i want to use the roman numbers so choose the roman numbers then choose start at i okay all right so now let's go through our document and see so you realize that the first page is i second page i i followed by i i then the table of content is iv but this has not reflected in our table of content because we've not updated it yet but from the table of content downwards, we have one, two, three. So let's just go and update the table of content, and that would be it. Table of content, click within anywhere, then right click, then click on this part, choose update and title. Okay. All right. So as you can see now, we have I, 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 V. So this is how to create different page numberings for different sessions of your Word document. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe for more tutorials like this. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime that we release a new video. Share the video with your colleagues and let them also learn something new today. See you in the next video. Bye.